Backed by popular demand, I have Ryan Duffy with the uh, Invent Raychem product line. Um, it's Raychem, as pe most people know. And uh, Ryan, um, we're here today to talk about application challenges. That's one of the things, and we're going to focus on on some of our podcast, our application challenges. And uh, as a lot of folks witnessed last weekend or a couple weekends ago and last couple weekends, it's been getting a little chilly. I know uh, at the shore, it was like 32 degrees Fahrenheit. We got a little bit of a warm weather front right now. We're kind of lucky it's going to be nice, but uh, winter is coming. And when winter is coming, people are looking at freeze protection and people start having freeze up issues in their plants. So today we want to talk about the basics of heat tracing with Ryan. And uh, we're going to cover uh, self-regulating heat tracing. We're going to talk about freeze protection and piping, freeze protection on tanks. And we may even touch base on insulation systems a bit. So Ryan Duffy, uh, welcome to my podcast. Again, back to our popular demand. How's it going today? Good, good. Good morning and thanks for having me on. Good to see you. <laughs> so uh, Ryan, uh, you've been in the business for quite some time. Uh, but let's talk about some of those basics of uh, freeze protection. Well, this is, this is good timing. Uh, as you mentioned, it's, um, you know, it's getting colder, so therefore I consider it heat tracing season. Um, a majority of our, our heat tracing business, um, uh, at least up here in the Northeast United States, is freeze protection. Um, not really process maintenance, trying to maintain an elevated temperature, but just um, keeping uh, piping equipment tanks uh, from freezing. Um, so it's, it's definitely that season. Uh, the most common um, use of self-regulating cable uh, is for freeze protection, and um, the the importance of it is uh, is is pretty high when when it gets cold here. And the main reason for freeze protection um, is that not just to uh, prevent plugs in your piping. People will assume, oh, well, if the pipe freezes, nothing will flow, um, my system won't work, uh, and that's true. But more importantly, with freeze protection. Um, you could physically damage your your piping tank, your whatever mechanical system that that is uh, that is in play here. Um, water is 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 strange uh, from from many different other materials in that a lot of materials um, they contract or shrink when they when they get colder. Um, but water does the opposite; it will expand uh, upon freezing. So if you have a uh, you know for example we'll look at it as a as a more common tangible application for for most. Uh, a homeowner with a, a copper pipe and that copper pipe is filled uh, and completely packed with water and it freezes, um, that that water will need to expand. It will expand with a great amount of force. That force can easily um, find a weak spot within that piping and burst that piping. Um, so not only are you talking about a disruption in, in the flow of your process or water piping, but you're talking about um, broken piping. Uh, once that happens, um, what will often happen is that plug, that freeze frozen spot push out, or that pipe will continue to leak at that, at that ruptured area um, and will continue to flow. And you will have, for lack of a better term, uh, uh, in some situations, a, a massive ice sculpture. Um, whatever is, is near that piping, whatever is around it, it will be coated in ice in, in a short period of time if it, the temperatures are right. So that's the the main driver behind um, freeze protection of, of piping is to prevent um, pipe rupturing and, and uh, stops in your process. Yeah, so so Ryan, just to, we have a shore house and we have an outdoor shower, so uh, I've experienced that, right? So didn't didn't drain the line correctly a couple years ago and uh, it, it's exactly what happened. It, it expanded, cracked through the copper tubing and uh, you know, then I had, and that's the next spring, you know, it was, there was, there was, there was leaks, right? So, uh, and, um, and you were talking about a freeze ball. So that's interesting as well. I've never thought about it as like a freeze ball developing there. So, but it, it, let me ask you a question. Can it happen on the first freeze? Like, I mean, you know, you get that first snap where it goes down to like 28, 30 degrees. Can it happen in one night like that? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it, it, some, um, it's depending on a lot of different factors. I mean, uh, how how exposed the pipe is, where it's at, is there wind is a, is a large factor too. Um, you know, when you're talking about a, a bare pipe that's not even, let's say it's not a heat traced or even insulated, um, it doesn't take long for that heat to dissipate right out of that. You know, in a normal, even a 
not really extreme situation within an hour or two it can happen considering the conditions are right so it really doesn't take much and i i realize the the analogy we're using is is maybe small bore or copper piping uh, but the um, heavy wall thick steel piping even valves i have seen split right in half uh, so the the force behind the expansion of, of frozen water is tremendous it's it's more uh, it has more energy and power than I ever uh, had thought it would. So it, it's very powerful and it will break pretty much anything. If it needs to expand, it's going to expand and something's, gonna, something's going to give. Okay, and those, those impacts, right? Those impacts like you and I were talking before we came on. If you look at a chemical plant or a processing plant, that impact could be that it could literally shut like a boiler system down or something and cause a company to not be online for a week or two. So now you're, you're not talking about fixing a piece of pipe or a valve. You're talking about a plant going down. And you're talking about lost time. So you're talking about potentially millions of dollars of, of repairs and lost revenues in production time due to something like this, correct? Absolutely, yeah. So uh, the, the importance of these systems is not um, just to prevent an inconvenience. It's um, you're talking about serious upsets of business and um, serious financial setbacks because of it. Um, one of my first experiences actually seeing this happen, and I won't mention any plant names, but there was a, a power plant uh, in uh, in New Jersey, um, and they had uh, it was a three year old plant. Um, they spent a tremendous amount of money heat tracing and insulating, and did a very good job. Um, the with with freeze protecting the entire plant. Um, however, there was a scope that was out of the plant's boundary. Uh, it was kind of a gray area, and it was the city water line that was feeding uh, the plant. Um, mm -hmm. It didn't take long, and there was a large valve that was uh, that was controlling that city water line, and that valve split right in half like a pumpkin. And uh, when I pulled up to the job um, to, to help figure out what was going on. You actually couldn't get in the plant because that the, the valve was near the entrance and so much water had flown out and frozen. It was basically a large frozen pond um, at the entrance and you couldn't even get in. It took them quite some time to get that city water shut off so that they could they could maintain it. But that plant was uh, was shut down. And, and I don't know how many. I think it was a few days, um, possibly, if I remember correctly. So you can imagine uh, during a time where uh, a peaking plant is is requested to come online and they can't because of frozen valve. Uh, I, I know there was a tremendous uh, amount of financial setback because of that, and simply because uh, the heat tracing system wasn't applied properly. Okay, so so let's go there. So uh, do you want to talk a little bit about the technology of, of, um, of self-regulating real, real quickly and then move on to freeze protection and piping or how, what, how, do, you want to, how do you want to move yeah. on? So the, the self-regulating technology is is a great technology. Since it came on the market many many years ago, it has um, quickly grown to be the the uh, most commonly used um, product for freeze protection of piping and equipment. Um, so self-regulating cable will regulate itself all along the length of the heating cable. Um, so it, the the cable itself, we can get into the science behind it on another time, but the cable itself all along the length will react to ambient temperatures or whatever temperature is being experienced. So uh, in, in a summary, when the cable feels or experiences or is exposed to a lower temperature uh, along any portion of that cable run, um, it will react and put out more heat. And conversely, um, that same cable run and maybe in different areas along the whole length, if it's exposed to higher temperatures, it will regulate itself down what you want to keep in mind is that the, the cable will never completely shut itself off. It will regulate itself up and down, um, but will never completely shut off, which is why we highly recommend still using some form of control on a self-regulating cable. Because it's a common misconception is like, oh, it's self-regulating, just plug it in, let it cook, and you're good to go. There are some uh, applications where that's okay. We don't recommend it for various reasons but um, it still uh, can regulate itself up and down greatly. And when I say greatly, uh, for example, we, when we publish uh, or we label our cables, for example, five or eight or 10, up to 20 some watts per foot, that, that rating or that output rating is based on when the cable is in a 50 degree ambient environment. So, converse, uh, so you can imagine if it's, the cable is in a zero degree environment, it wouldn't be uncommon or out of the question for a 10 watt cable to pull close to double, uh, giving that the, the temperature constraints are right. So 
Um, and conversely, uh, it can pull much less. It can pull a few watts per foot if it's rate attend if it gets warm enough. So that's how it regulates itself. But keep in mind, it, it never does shut off. Wow. So, so you know, as 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 we're as we're as we're kind of like blitzing through this a little bit, uh, this application challenge, my my mind's eye. If I'm a if I'm a person watching this, I'm saying, hey, you know what? I I need to give these folks over at Eastern Controls and bring Ryan Duffy in and have a conversation about what we're doing. Maybe do a plant survey or something. You know, let's let's attack this. So. Um, Absolutely. About, That's very common. Uh, common yeah, request same. is um, come out and evaluate and, and get an assessment on what's going on and a professional opinion on the on the current status of things. And and I'm glad you mentioned that because a, a a big portion of these heating systems um, and I'm I'm uh, I fall victim to it as well as I, I tend to focus strictly on the heating or the electrical portion of this system, and uh, and it's it, the insulation system that is required for electrical heat tracing is just as important if not more important um, no matter how great no matter how well designed no matter what the output of the cable is on that system if it's not insulated and insulated properly it's, okay. uh, it's all a waste so insulation is very important as well and we take that into into an account um, when you know really being in this industry we don't see ourselves strictly as um, people that just sell a lot of material and, and, and ship out a skid of equipment and, and kind of have a blind eye to everything else i like to get an understanding of Everything involved in the system, from the insulation, the insulation jacketing, the heating cable itself, and the components, all the way back to the power distribution control and monitoring systems and power distribution panels and transformers. I, I kind of want to get a, an entire view on everything because it's like a, it's like a link in a chain. Um, everything is is pulling together, and if one of those links break down, um, the whole system will break down. So it's important for us to understand everything going on to to give a proper assessment of, of what's happening. All right, cool. So, so Ryan, uh, you know, again, the, 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 the idea of today's podcast is to just put this application challenge out there. I think the message is that, you know, Raychem has solutions. Easter Controls, as your partner, has the ability to come out and do a plant survey to answer questions and to help people mm -hmm. and to be proactive and or be reactive if necessary, because we are, we are stocking a lot of inventory on, um, Freeze protection uh, uh, equipment right now for rain cap. So, um, Ryan, uh, any last minute messages before we wrap up this podcast here? Oh, just uh, hey, it's it's uh, it's our season. I know it, it, in uh, in light of the the weather here this week is in the 70s, so it's not really heat tracing season <laughs> this week. But, um, but you know, uh, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm talking about heat tracing season. Liam, I'm looking out the window here, and it's uh, it's warm and sunny, and the birds are singing. So, uh, but hey, it won't last forever. It'll it'll come back. The cold will be here, um, and we're here to help. I've been uh, I've been at this game for a while. I've been uh, an experienced. Went through many heat heating uh, heat trace seasons per se uh, doing this. So, if there's any questions that anyone has. Um, feel free to reach out to, to either of us and um, we'll make sure we give you a proper assessment of what's going on. Great. Brian Duffy, thanks very much for joining us today with the Invent Raycom, Raychem product portfolio. And folks, you know our number at each control is 610-325-4600. Say, hey, you know, can I, can I talk to somebody about Raychem? I'd be happy to help you. Brian Duffy, thanks again for coming on. That's a wrap and we'll see you again, Ryan. Thanks very much. Thanks, Jill. Take care. Bye, buddy.